Donald, tell us why Smart Irrigation Month is important to Georgians, not just farmers, but consumers of agricultural products. Well, I think the point of Smart Irrigation Month is to increase in farmers' minds the awareness of how we use water, of how vitally important water is to us, how we can use it more efficiently and still produce, you know, the same high quality, uh, high yielding crops that we've always done. And so you're correct in that it's not just for us farmers, but it's for the consumers because they are expecting those products that they get in the summertime from Georgia. Watermelons, sweet corn, all those wonderful fresh produce things. And so I think it's good for us to always ask ourselves, how can we do this more efficiently? I know summertime, particularly, farmers need to water. We typically have some uh, really dry months and, and periods of time in Georgia. Why July? Is there a, a reason for that? Well, I think it's probably peak irrigation season for most crops. Um, the cotton and peanut crops are, are kind of reaching that prime time for bloom and fruiting and the corn is still getting a little bit of that. So I think our, our big crops in Georgia are at their peak usage in terms of, of water at that point. It seems like there's a lot of very important people that recognize that water is such a wonderful commodity that we have. The governor's behind this. Uh, Farm Bureau has gotten behind this. You have the USDA and conservationists are working on this. Because it's so well recognized by so many different entities, where do you see this going? Do you see this catching on and something that people will look to every year to know that, that we're going to remind producers and others that we, we really need to be protecting the, the water supply? I, I, I think, I hope we do it every year. I hope it's, it's always good to, to remind ourselves. I will say this though, that I think farmers uh, in a large part are trying and making those changes in our irrigating, in our, in our systems, both in the technologies that we employ. And I'm, uh, I think there's been a, an increasingly wider adoption of smart sensors where we're actually measuring the moisture in the soil and comparing that to the curves, the water usage curves of our crops so that we, we, we're paying a lot more attention to it. And that's what this what a Smart Irrigation Month would do for us is to allow us to, hey, yes, let's pay attention again. Technology has brought us so far along, has it? It's, yes. cha it's changed the dynamics. Yes, indeed. I, 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 and, and it's not, you know, one of the interesting things that we saw in peanut research is that um, even though July tends to be one of our wetter months, the planting peanuts about the 1st of May tends to bring them into that fruiting stage in July. And so we're, not only are we using technology to monitor our, our particular individual uh, fields, but on an aggregate, I think we're trying to figure out when's the best time to plant to maximize those natural showers that come in. One other question, have more and more producers began to take on these adaptive measures so that they can be responsible and, and very closely monitor the water usage that they have? I, I think so. Um, you know, from year to year, we, we see different weather challenges. Uh, you, if you'll recall, the last three weeks of May were not particularly uh, conducive to planting things and getting things done. So I, that, I think that caused probably some delays in planting, but I think most, most people try to get things done on a timely manner, get their crops planted so that they can maximize those natural showers. And you know, that's, that's, a, that's a smart irrigation strategy as well, is to try to you know, plan around, we can't predict when they're coming, but at least you know, try to, to manage so we can optimize that, that usage of, of, of our thunderstorm showers and then manage our irrigation to, to work around that.